Now that you know what functions are, let's take a look at local and global variables. Let's take a look at this example. In front of us, we have a program which will print out the title of a customer and their initials. So let's run this and you can see we get Mr. TF. Okay. Now let's take a look at it line by line. We have a variable here for title. So Mr. Title of the customer. We then have a function called get initials and it has a first name of Tom, last name of Ford and initials. If you remember from our string manipulation videos, we have first name referencing the first character in that string and last name referencing the first character in the last name string here. We then return initials to the calling code and we have title concatenated with a space and we concatenate the initials. So we'll run it again. You can see we have Mr. TF. Okay. So now title equal to Mr. is actually known as a global variable because it is in the global scope. So all of this, okay, the entire program is the global scope. And if you declare a variable in the global scope, you then can access that variable anywhere and it's known as a global variable. Okay, so let's see if we can access title inside initials. So, or we'll get initials. If we did title and concatenated that space there and we removed it from down here, we ran this, you can see we still have Mr. TF. Now, what did we do here? We referenced title, which is a variable in the global scope, inside the scope of the function. And this scope is called the local scope. Okay. So inside our function or local scope, we have first name and last name defined. Now, do you think that we can access any one of these variables outside of the function? You can see it's already underlining red. So if we run this, it complains and says first name is not defined. And the reason for that is even though it is defined, we are referencing first name in the global scope, not the local scope or the scope in which first name was initially declared so or defined. Right. So now let's improve this slightly. First name and last name, we can, we can remove this. There's no real benefits of keeping it inside the function. We know we can just reference it because now it is a global variable. We can reference it there and here. And now our code reads just slightly better. And we can even we don't need this variable. We can just say return like we've done before. And now the code reads slightly better. We can even add a comment up top here and say uh, customer data. And we can say get initials i guess is okay and then we can print it to the screen and we can run this and we still have mr tf okay and maybe we can say print to the screen be clearer and that is it that is exactly the difference between local and global variables now you can see if you want to take the step further if we had multiple functions doing other things this is now a different scope. It's still a local scope to this function. So if we had, I don't know, uh, age as an example here, age will not be able to be accessed from this scope because it's a different scope. It's local to, let's say, um, get age. Okay. And if we had to return age, this is completely different. If we had to print age and we ran this code we'll get Mr. TF but age is not defined because it's inside the scope and if we had to delete this and if we wanted to concatenate age here and run it again you can see age is not defined so it's very very important that you understand the difference between defining a variable in local scope or in the global scope i hope that helps Take your time to pause the video, pause watching the series, and really try and focus and get this right. I hope this helps.